Hello Pisces, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings and welcome to your mini bonus reading Pisces. I will be exploring different areas um, of your life for the collective of what you can expect for the next coming weeks. Let's get straight into it. Let's talk about current energy. Um, and if you don't resonate with these uh, current energies, most likely they're, they are about to arrive on your doorstep. So important to kind of keep an open mind about this. So let's see, Pisces for current energies. What do we have? Pisces, please, current energies. Thank you. Let's get two more. One more. Oh, was that one? Yes. Bottom of the deck, we have envy. Well, of course, when you start making noise, Pisces, what happens? People start to notice. They start to turn around. The good people and, well, these type of people. Let's see how it relates to this. Why are they so envious? What's happening? First card. Okay, we've got a contract. Now, some of you um, in the next coming weeks could be signing some legal documents. You could be selling a house here or buying a house. Believe it, yeah, people actually do get kind of jealous about that. You could also be signing some um, other legal documents. This could also be perhaps a separation or a divorce that's going to be finalized, which will offer a lot of healing because it is the number six. Six is a notorious to be all about balance and also about healing. You may even be purchasing a new business here um, or one that's already established or a franchise or just starting to take out the business name and all that. And I would just be mindful you don't have to tell everyone everything that is going on in your business and financial matters. Um, and this is more of a heads up. It's not that they're going to cause any anything serious, but you just want to protect your energy. You want to protect everything that you work so hard for. Absolutely. So this could even be um, possibly very um, soon that you're going to be offered a job here. Um, so we've got signing there, um, even being promoted. So this is looking pretty good for you. I like this. Now, in regards to um, signing, what do you think it's about? Let's see. Yep, to do with your finances. And look at that, four plus two. We've got six again. That's offering more healing, more balance here. Woman holding the coin. This could be you. Or we literally have a, a divine feminine that is giving you the money. They're giving you the coin here. Absolutely. This is really good. Ooh, whatever you're signing, it's going to go for you, not against you. And this is why people are like, why is Pisces getting out? They don't deserve that. Well, that's their problem. So that's just a heads up to keep it under the lid if you can. Mm. What else are they jealous about? Yeah, your romance. We've got man holding the heart. This could literally be you for my divine masculines watching this. You're literally accepting the heart for my divine feminines here. Um, even if it's a same sex relationship, it doesn't matter. We've got someone that is offering you their heart. So what I'm trying to say is gender is not important in my readings at all. Take it as it resonates. But this is probably why we've got so much envy and jealousy around you. Clearly, we have one person that, or it could even be a group of people, they're not happy for you. If you know who that is or who, whom they are, um, probably keep them at a distance. You may even be thinking of cutting them out, cutting them out, out of your life. These are people that, you know, it's like we're friends as long as you don't do better than me. For example, they could be at work. They could also be here like friends um, or family members around a, a romantic interest here. Very interesting, but this is looking good for you. So let's forget about all that crap, all those people. We're signing something that's for you. Even if you, you've been pitching something or you're waiting for results, it's this always means a yes. It's like my justice card. We've got money coming in. We've got romance coming in. Let's look at the near future energies. What do we have? There it is again. I said it was my justice card. There you go. So this is definitely happening. Make sure you sign with your best favorite pen because this is looking really good. For Pisces, please. Three cards for the near future. Energies. Thank you. Oops. That one? No. Okay, they said no. I'm very picky about the cards that I get. Um, so... There we go. And the right ones come. I know. So we also have health checkup and healing. So I said the sixes are all about healing. So it's going to be a really good, smooth, well, literally a healing time for you as well. Um, it's, this is actually probably a reminder here to also, you know, go get your checkup. Make sure you're up to date with your blood tests and all that. That's just to give you that confidence to move forward. And this is, of course, taking care of yourself. It is healing your heart. It's looking up for number one. But it's looking really good. I like this. Underneath that, we've got children, childlike, and innocence. Having fun times here. I like it. Nice. What else? Change, 
transformation and transition. For some of you, this could actually be happening in a couple of days. Yeah, no wonder there's a lot of envy around you. I think that you have no problem creating waves of change here around you, and it's just annoying people. It's irritating the demons. That's what's happening here. Change is always for the better. Yeah, see? Spring clean, clean sweep, and a shake up here. You're doing something massive. For those that are very ambitious here with their career, your finances, your business, romance, it's like literally going like from here all the way up here. You may be leaving your friends behind. This is what wish is coming true. You want that dream job, that job offer, or if you want to start your own business, you, perhaps you think, can I make this profitable? Yes, you can. This is like the star card. Personal wishes are going to come true. Everything that you work so hard for is all going to come. You literally have nothing to worry about. And the scales are balanced in this particular reading. Wow. All right, let's look at tarot. I'll be using the Archangel Power tarot cards. For the next few weeks, let's see what is that they want to reveal to you. The most important uh, information, you could say. I think all of this, you have no one to thank but yourself because you've done all of it. You've pretty much done all the hard work. Ooh, that one. I didn't want it to let it get away. That one right there. What else, please? Two more. That one. Thank you. Oh, and that one. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Raphael. This is a nice card, Scorpio Energy. So this is you basically being spoilt for choice in the form of opportunities, right? It says, time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action, which you are doing and need also for detoxification. So that could be perhaps if you're drinking too much or if you're eating too much, too much sweets. There's nothing bad here. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just saying, maybe just lay, off, lay it off for a bit because I really want you to enjoy all of this that's happening here. What else do we have? What's coming up in the next few weeks? The Two of Raphael. This is the Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. This is known as the true card of love. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't, go, don't give up on those you love. So mm, if you are... Wanting to meet someone new. This is very heavy on the cards where you're both on the same page. If you want to hear back from your person, yeah, this person's coming back on the same page because it's going to be different for all of you. Either way, you're both mirroring each other. It's a very deep soulmate connection here. What else do we have? I said this was a star and you got the star. So it's going to be a couple of weeks here where everything just goes your way. It's about wishes coming true here. Aquarius energy. Look at that. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. Beautiful. The Knight of Michael. So this is strong Gemini energy, but could also be um, a fellow Libra or Aquarius. It says time to move quickly. Choose logic over motion. Sudden changes. This is indeed the fastest night out of all the nights. It's about messages. It's about changes here. It's not a time to be impulsive, but I have a feeling this is more of a call to action for you. Even though that's more the Knight of Wands, it's that everything that you worked hard for, everything that you really wished for in terms of romance, your career, your finances, anything that's legal here or just balancing things out, having it your way, it's all because of you. That's why they want you to enjoy it. And another good thing, don't worry about your health because the star here, although they're saying here, you know, maybe start taking care of yourself, the star is the return of health here as well. That's beautiful, of course. Always make sure that, you know, our health is up to date and all that, but this is a very good card. It's a very positive card here for your health as well. Ooh, this is looking good. All right, let's look at romance. What else? Because that two of cups that's coming in, that is looking very promising here. Yeah, they're saying it's it's time for change. It's time to have fun. Romance angels, please, for Pisces. Thing. Oh, we got two. Thank you. There we go. Bottom of the deck, we have children. I couldn't have sworn you had. Yeah, we've got children there as well. Let me show you. We've got children. Your love life is being affected by children. This could definitely mean um, a pregnancy in the future. There's probably children involved already. That plays an important factor. Or it can actually literally mean like going back to more innocent times, like more fun childlike times with your person. You deserve love. You are lovable and you are definitely worthy of having this two of cups coming your way in the next few weeks. You've got to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you don't want to, do not worry because this card always goes like either way, your person could definitely be making the effort here. What else do we have? It's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. 
Oh God, this is looking, um, I feel like everything's gonna fall on your lap. You pretty much don't have to do anything. Now, let's get some cards here that can aid you, that can help you with your life purpose um, and also your career. What do we have? This could also show perhaps other avenues to make income or if you've been thinking, do I, maybe I wanna do something else, let's see. Or Pisces, please. Wow. I'll put that over there. Now that's three, but I st I'm still want to get one more. Yeah, incorporate some yoga. Maybe a lot of you have been thinking, see your life is enriched by yoga, stretching and exercising. Could be Pilates here as well to introduce it into your life. Um, and this could actually also be if you want to teach it, you want to surround yourself with other people that do it. This is a really good sign. Oops, having up your own yoga studio, for example, teaching other people. We keep getting the children card. <laughs> Amazing. We got children here. You got children there. What was the other children card? It was somewhere. Oh, yes, it was here. That's coming up really strong. Your life purpose involves helping and teaching and healing children. So I think you're going to be <clears throat> an example to those younger than you. This is all about being a mentor. So if some of you maybe th already are or thinking of transitioning into like teaching, um, childcare, for example. What else? Your infinite abundance. Look at that. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. We've got woman holding the coin. Uh, strangely enough, we have another woman there with a cornucopia there of abundance. So money is looking excellent for you. Of course, we don't have to go to a teaching job. Um, that could just also mean <clears throat> in the next few weeks, you could actually literally be just a very good mentor where people look up to you. What else do we have? Options. Consider the career possibilities that are open for you. And you're on the right path. You're doing what, uh, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. And I think that's why it's irritating people, but that is their problem, not yours. Let's see, as long as they don't interfere, Let's summarize all of this with the Moonology card, cards. And you could also be, um, we've got some zodiac signs here. Perhaps you will know who they are or um, you will meet them. Let's see. I'm running out of room here. All right, four Pisces, please. Oh, that one. That one came out. Thank you. Four Pisces. One more. Oh, okay, we got two. It says at the bottom, don't let your past hold you back. So we make a decision with our life and we look forward and we don't look back. We don't second guess ourselves. After all, it says that you're on the right path. What we have, expect a powerful change. Your hard work is paying off. And I did say that um, when we were around here, that your hard work is paying off. We've got a Capricorn perhaps coming into your life. It says you're very close to achieving your goal, so don't give up yet. We've also got Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. This could actually be this envy that's around you. Could even be an ex. It's time to release. I'm, I'm really picking up. A lot of you may be completely cutting ties um, with certain friends or co-workers. Could even be family, which is sad. But um, yeah, it's time to walk away and cut that because you've got so much going for you. You don't want that to kind of stain all these beautiful things. I mean, you got this, literally the star card twice, excellent for career, finances, romance, two of cups. And you got the, and also kind of sit with yourself and think, where does the children card come in? You got it three times, three different decks. This could be a pregnancy for you. Um, it could be actually children in your life here as well. It's probably an important factor. Either way, you've got really, really positive cards here. So Pisces, Thank you for joining me. I know that I, I talk very fast, but it's just that I want to, I, I get a lot of messages and I want to make sure that you get all of them. Um, I hope you enjoyed your mini bonus reading for the forecast for the next couple of weeks. Could be even up to six weeks, but it goes very fast. Um, and also do check out your usual weekly love reading for August 2022. That is already up. That is live. So do enjoy that as well. And thank you for joining me, Pisces. Bye.